Right. So we want to add this rifle to our character and uh, to begin with, um, let's take a look at what we have in here. Because uh, first of all, we have uh, the animation starter pack and we have the mannequin uh, for the, from the three third person um, um, example. And uh, this skeleton up here is called SK Mannequin and uh, the animation starter pack is based on this one called SK Mannequin Anim SP and um, I know that uh, the Anim starter pack has a rifle uh, animation so I want to use that but I want to use that on my mannequin down here so let's start off by saying um, idle and take this uh, idle rifle iron sights so if we right click this one and say retarget anim assets, duplicate the anim assets and retarget, um, we can check, uh, see we have this um, UE4 mannequin skeleton and that's the one we want to use. So normally I would just click uh, select but since these are having different uh, poses, this has an A pose and this has a T pose, I need to fix the source first. So I need to go to, uh, since the source is the uh, one from animation starter pack, I'll take this skeleton here and I will go to skeleton and I will go to skeleton tree, I think, no, retarget manager maybe, no, yeah, uh, well, uh, click view post and um, I will quickly just adjust these. Um, If I can hit them, I'll try this one. Nope, not much luck. Come on. There we go. And swing this one up. I think that's pretty much where it should be. And come on. Fuck. I hate this. Okay, there we go. And swing this one up. 45 degrees all right so let's go and look from him above and his arms needs to be straightened out a little bit I think it's like 25 degrees should be okay 25 degrees so let's take a look at him now from the front it looks pretty much like a T uh, pose okay so I'll hit save and he pops back don't worry about that uh, he's still in the T pose, but so yeah. Anyway, save that and return. Turn, close, close. Um, and now we can return to our animation and animation startup pack and search again for the idle. Idle rifle iron sights and right click here and retarget, duplicate. And now he has a T pose. So I'll click the mannequin skeleton and I'll retarget that one. So that will drop this a copy of this animation based on the on the mannequin uh, skeleton down into my I think it should be here. Um is it here? Where did it go? Is it here? I don't see it. Have I gone blind? Um, sorry for that. Hmm. That's weird. I can't find it. Well, it is here somewhere. <laughs> uh, just not this folder. Maybe this folder. Mm. This is really embarrassing. Equip stand out, uh, not this one. Character, not here. Is it here? Mesh? Oh, I see. It put it under mesh. So, anyway, let's put it under animations so I have it the same place. There we go. Alright, so um, let's double click this one and 
let's fit in the the rifle on this dude. Um, in order to do this, so we'll find the the right hand here, and we'll add a socket called um, M4A1 socket, and we'll add a preview um, asset, the M4A1. This one, and it shows it up um, kind of funny. So let's start off by setting the camera speed a little bit lower because otherwise I can't position this. And we'll click on the socket so we get these um, things to rotate and, and control everything. So uh, let's see if we can place this so it looks pretty good. Uh, like this, maybe I'll also change this one to two degrees about and I'll set this one here and I'll try to do this as fast as I can but uh, usually it takes a little bit time to get this perfect so because this is a demonstration video or tutorial whatever you want to call it uh, I won't spend too much time adjusting it so it will be perfect you can do that yourself so anyway so my uh, M4A1 socket is now um, aligned as it should be and almost ready to go. I could maybe just tilt this down a little bit like this. Voila, that is okay. I think we'll just go with this. Looks pretty cool. Um, so anyway, now we have uh, uh, we know that this um, weapon can land here correctly and will look uh, fine. And we'll remember the name M4A1 socket. That's why it's want to go. Uh, we want to put the, the weapon when we pick it up. <clears throat> um, let's close this one, and uh, let's also close this one. Yep. All right. Um, what we're gonna do next is go into the list of interactables. We have this interactable info that we started on. And let's return to this uh, because one thing we could put inside this interactable info is, uh, for example, um, a socket name. I think uh, would be a good idea. Um, so this uh, would be a name, and um, it would tell where uh, an interactable item would land if we were to pick it up and um, maybe before I do anything else I want to create uh, an enum uh, to say okay we have different kinds of uh, items we want to interact with so let's add an enumeration and call this uh, interactable type just shitty name actually uh, <laughs> But let's say, uh, okay, we'll start out by having something called none, uh, because then this will be the default. And then we can have, for example, something like a weapon. And uh, we can have something like a door. And so on. So let's just uh, keep, it, keep it with this for now. And uh, as we go, we can all, always add, add more items to this. Um, okay, so let's click save and close. And in inside our interactable info, uh, we kind of want to add a new variable and make this the interactable type. And we want to make this a type of interactable oops, type like this. Save and close like this, right? Save. So um, we are starting to get some information about this, and um, but since this is a weapon, and uh, for example, a door does not have um, uh, does not have any weapon stats or anything weapon specific, uh, we don't want to pollute. If you could use that name, uh, our interactable class with weapon specific stuff. So that is actually why we want to have this weapon uh, class here. And specifically for weapons, we have uh, like stuff like damage and um, 
yeah, well, uh, could have some things controlling how which uh, animation to play because um, if you if you're carrying a rifle, you would have play one animation. If you're carrying a gun, a different one. If you're carrying a, a knife, a third one, and so on and so forth. So we have can have tons of uh, different poses depending on what you picked up. So in the next video, we'll take a look at how we will set these structs up. Okay, so stay tuned and see you in the next video. Bye.